where the Second Amendment is alive and well. Cam Edwards, your host. Thanks for tuning in to NRA News, Cam and Company on Sportsman Channel. Later on in the hour, I'll uh, uh, fill you in on a conversation I had with one of my uh, new neighbors about uh, firearms over the weekend. But there's been a lot of talk about the Eastern Sports and Outdoor Show and the decision by the promoter to disallow uh "Quote unquote black rifles, modern sporting rifles, semi-automatic rifles. You know the 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 vaguely worded uh, uh, and, and vaguely termed quote unquote assault weapons. Those aren't going to be allowed at this show. As a result, you've had some vendors pull out, you've had some speakers pull out. Others is, are, are wrestling with this decision. I've heard arguments, uh, good arguments, as to why some folks uh, believe that they need to stay." believe that they need to go, and I'm very pleased to have with us on the program right now, host of the Bear Whisper right here on Sportsman, Mr. Blaine Anthony. Blaine, how you doing? Very good, sir. How are you? I am great. Thanks for coming on the show. So you are one of those who made the decision to pull out of the Eastern Sports and Outdoor Show. What what was it? Uh, I mean, obviously, I, we know why the decision. Was this a tough decision for you, Blaine? Um. No, to be honest with you, I mean, it was, um, you know, I was one of the first ones, and, you know, I had read it and couldn't believe it. I, I think I read it ten times going, there's just no way that they are doing that. I mean, a, a show that is literally a byproduct of the Second Amendment, mm -hmm. and they're, they're uh, I'm still speechless. Yeah, I, I you know, and I, I got to tell you, I mean, that's... <laughs> That's the reaction that I'm hearing as well from a lot of gunners. They just, why? What, I just can't understand it. Did you try to get any answers uh, from the promoters as to, as to why exactly they were doing this? Um, I did, especially after, you know, I didn't want to do anything hastily, and I certainly, you know, didn't, you know, want to do anything, you know, to, uh, to you know, upset anybody, obviously, but the... You know, even when I try to contact them through emails, telephone calls, and I don't, I honestly do not know a soul that has ever gotten through to them. And I know they're based out of the UK, um, making it, you know, making it even more difficult. I, I know that they know they're taking the personalities off their website and stuff like that, but uh, not a single response. Haven't heard a thing about it, which baffles me even more. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, again, I can only assume. Uh, you know, it's. It's. I got to tell you, it, it's interesting, Blaine. We've seen this full court press by the uh, what I like to term the the uh, entertainment industrial complex or the media industrial complex, trying to make the case that Americans' attitudes have changed towards firearms. Americans' attitudes have changed towards gun control. Uh, and then, you know, we see these polls that come out suggesting that actually that's not the case. Americans' attitudes, regardless, you know, on either side of the aisle, they're largely solidified. Uh, the public approval of uh, the National Rifle Association, higher than that of Hollywood, higher than that of Congress, higher than that even of President Obama, uh, you know, which to me suggests that most Americans are, are looking at the, the gun control debate and the gun control argument the way that they have... Uh, largely over the last several years, and that is, all right, so you've got individuals in this uh, in this country who want to go after our right to keep and bear arms, who will use tragedies like the mass murder in Newtown, Connecticut, uh, as a, a, a means or a, 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 I don't want to say an excuse, as an opportunity uh, to try to push for these laws. And then you've got a lot of Americans who say, whoa, 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 we don't think any of these new gun control laws, including gun bans, uh, will actually do anything to make us safer. And that debate really hasn't changed, in my opinion. Agree, 100%. So, 100%. so what do you think, uh, I mean, what have you been hearing from uh, your viewers and your supporters? Do they stand with your decision to, uh, to not appear at the Eastern Sports and Outdoor Show? Absolutely. I mean, I, I can't even imagine being one of the, the, the people who, who are going and, and supporting the Eastern Outdoor Sports Show. I, I mean, it's a, um, uh, again, I mean, it almost makes me speechless. I mean, the, the you know, what they're doing, and the, especially the hunting community. I mean, let's take the shooters out of it. The mm -hmm. hunting community absolutely understands the Second Amendment and, and the fact that it's being infringed on. And, and not just that, you know, companies 
that have nothing to do with what we do, like uh, all these archery shops, Lancaster Archery. I mean, they don't sell a bullet or a gun. And to their, you know, financially, they backed out of that show. And, you know, financially, they did nothing but lose money and walked away to help protect our Second Amendment rights. So, it, it, you know, it's not just gun owners. It's the hunting community, which i got to tell you, I couldn't be any more proud of. Well, look, I mean, all you got to do is go back to the 90s and look at how uh, the Clinton administration, uh, you know, tried to divide and conquer uh, gun owners. And, you know, we hear anti-gunners talk about this sort of monolithic gun culture, which, which we know that doesn't really exist. Uh, but it is good to see that the hunters are, are, are standing side by side with, with uh, you know, their fellow gunners, those who have picked up firearms for the shooting sports or self-defense or plinking or for none of your business why they uh, decided to pick up a firearm. Uh, you know, I think everybody understands this time around. It doesn't stop with this. I mean, you've got Peter right now, uh, Blaine, saying that President Obama should take this one step further and start to go after sport hunting in this country. <laughs> that I haven't heard. That's, <laughs> that's nuts. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. Like I said, I, I think it's great to see the uh, the, the firearms owners in this country, uh, the law abiding, you know, regardless of whatever reason they have for uh, picking up a gun, no matter what type of firearm they own. Uh, you're, you're seeing more solidarity than you've seen before. Ever. I mean, I, I'm. I'm Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I got to be honest with you. I watch these updates all the time of the people backing out, and it literally almost chokes me up because you, you know, you don't know if you have solidarity until this happens. And um, the the solidarity and the and the people standing up for the Second Amendment has been nothing short of awesome. Well, listen, Blaine, we appreciate what you're doing, sir. And uh, when can folks check out the Bear Whisper on Sportsman? Uh, not till July, actually. It'll come back. All right. Well, we'll be waiting. And in the meantime, Blaine, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Have a great afternoon, man. All righty. Thanks a lot, Cam. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Blaine Anthony, the Bear Whisperer on Sportsman. By the way, last night, tuned in at 8 p.m. Eastern okay. for Pigman. Stuck around.